Let's live now from the clink. She's got some delicious mm. game day meal ideas. What is this about my friend? Oh. <laughs> oh, good morning, love. Okay, I have Zach Martinez here, Chef of Sullivan Steakhouse, and we do have some goodies. Okay, <laughs> we're going to make some guacamole to go on our ahi nachos. Yeah, I know you're jealous. Okay, so let's take me through this All step right. by step. So we got avocados here. Okay. We're going to put these in the bowl. Yep. How do you pick a good avocado at the store? I always um, wonder this. A little bit of a give, but firm. Okay. And then cut one open if you, you know, if you don't know. <laughs> All right, so we got a. <laughs> so that we're testing them. So we got our avocados in the bowl here. Okay. We're gonna put a little apple cider vinegar. Okay. Let me dump something. Oh, there we go. Like I Be careful with this one, habaneros. habaneros. We don't want it too spicy. Okay, so all of it though, right? If you like it spicy, just do it. Yeah. There we go. Let's spice it up this morning. A little chopped red onion. Okay. I love onion. That'll be good for the breath. There we go. Okay. And a little chopped uh, cilantro. Cilantro. All right. Let's go ahead and give that a mix. Okay. Mash it in there. What's the trick to mashing this too? Uh, I, like it, I like it a little bit uh, chunky. Of oh, course. you do like yep. it chunky. So I just okay. mix it around, try to get all the flavors together. Okay. That's not good for me right there. All right. I love some guac. So you take okay. your spoon. Okay. Just put a little bit in each cup. All right. One here and then one for the plate. There we go. Perfect. Perfect. All right. Let's make it pretty. There we go. All right. All right. Next, we're going to make our tuna. So we've got some beautiful aki tuna. Uh, you can pick this up anywhere at Whole Foods or Price Place Market. Okay, now again, tell people how to pick the best piece of fish. Bright red tuna. Okay. And should smell like the sea. Not fishy at all. Beautiful, clean smell. smell. Like the sea. Is what we're looking okay. for. <laughs> so we've got our chopped tuna here. We're going to put a little citrus oil. Citrus oil, okay. Chives for color. Yeah, pretty. A little red chili for heat. We're going spicy today. Yep. I love and it. And a little bit of salt. Just for flavor. Okay. We mix it. Give this a mix. Okay. Twirl it around there. There we go. Have you ever cooked on the street in front of CenturyLink before? This is my first time. Pretty cool. But right? here we go. Playoff game. <laughs> <laughs> right now, on of course, there. This is my favorite part, right? Yep. Because I get to take a bite of this. I don't think there's an elegant way to do this, so. Get in there. Yeah. Mmm. Good? Oh, that's good. That's what I'm talking about. I expected nothing less, right? <laughs> but, okay, before we get to the one I really am excited to try, you guys are a steakhouse. Yep. What's the trick to a great steak on the grill? Uh, lots of salt and pepper. That's it? That's it. That's all we do at the steakhouse. Um, I think that's the biggest uh, tip I can give the uh, home broiler. Don't overdo it. Just do salt and pepper. Salt and pepper. All right. Keep now, it simple. I don't know if you know this, but... I went to Penn State. I lived a long time in Pennsylvania, so I'm a big cheesesteak fan. So Zach comes bringing this thing out, and I'm like, oh, hello, friend. These are our signature dish, Sullivan Steakhouse, um, Philly cheesesteak egg rolls. What, what is it? What's in this? Tell people what So it. it's uh, sliced tenderloin, uh, caramelized onions, <laughs> and American cheese. That would take me back to Sullivan's every time. <laughs> I hope so. Now... Tell me what you normally cook for game day, if you're watching the game. What are some other great dishes that people can cook at home? Um, I like burgers. Burgers. Burgers is what I do at home on the grill when we're watching the game. It's like a unique twist to a burger to make it a little more interesting. Um, I like to grind the meat myself. Um, if, if you don't have a grinder, we use a food processor at home. Okay. So I buy oh, like you can a... Put... Yeah. Ah, chop it up a little bit. How about I like that? to buy a chuck roast and make my burgers out of that. Cool. Well, Zach, I really appreciate you being here with us. Uh, check out Sullivan's Steakhouse. And we're not done this morning. He's got a whole <laughs> nother menu, so I get to keep eating, Meg.